Hello and welcome. Today we've finally got our hands on a, on a uh, booster box of Premium Gold Infinite Gold. So I'm going to crack straight on and open this up. Uh, this is in fact the first gold series that I've ever bought a box of. I The first Premium Gold I bought singles from and the second one I bought a single pack of and then the rest were all singles. But frankly this set I don't think there's any chance that I'll get a card I'm not happy with, to be honest. So, obviously, I want... Ooh, ooh oh, I've never done this before. Um, obviously, I'm looking for the prize cards, number 106, Giant Hand, and... Uh, what else is there? The Joraviac... I don't... I've never... Tried to pronounce that. Beatrice and uh, what's the other really expensive card? I can't remember. But there are a couple of strange little cards that I'm looking for. For example, the Dante, the of the Burn Ver Dante and Virgil, the two original Burning Abysses, and some of the spell cards as well. Just foil versions of cards. Would be nice. Oh, Dark Destroyer. That's the other one I'm thinking of. So I'm going to uh, get cracking. Not entirely sure. Ooh. I much prefer the American packaging. Where it's like a treasure chest style. And you don't have this annoying thing. So. Uh, we are going to get three packs per box. And we are opening five boxes. Let's get cracking. I don't know. Ah, excellent. So we are starting this off with a Castell, Sky Blaster Musketeer. I'm afraid this is going to be a longer opening because these cards really do look nice in the gold row. So Castell, it's a bit of a pity because it's already been reprinted very recently. Um, but I can live with that. Since it looks so nice. Sorry, I just had to double check something. Uh, next gold is Mistake. Continuous track card. It's Sangan. Now he's he's all happy. Now he's got a rotted. Need a flake on that card. <laughs> Archfiend Eccentric from the first pack. That is amazing. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That is one of the most expensive cards. In, well, that's one of the most utilised cards in the set. And it's only gold rare. So our gold secret, gold uh, junk changer, really shiny, and a horn of heaven. That's one of the cards I wanted. I would just quite like to get one of each of the horn cards. They seem like the, a nice card to have a set of. So we're going to do each uh, box, and then I will sort them out in some meaningful fashion. Ooh, that's tough. Arch Phoenix centric in the first pack. Realize Flare Metal Dragon, another card I really did want. Storming Mirror Force, which one's that? Return on Attack. Ah, yes, I like that. Traveler in the Burning Abyss. Magical King Moonstar. And a Grand Horn of Heaven. So, that's nice. If uh, this box is just the Three Horns of Heaven, that would be pretty amazing. So then third pack, Terminus of the Burning Abyss, Dorito, the Moral Leader, Breakthrough Skill, Phantom Knights of the Tomb Shield, and Ice Hand. So no complaints from me, that was a that was a good, good opening pack. Archman Eccentric is, I want to say it's short printed. I have watched quite a lot of openings of this because I've been so hype about it. But, um, but yeah, I think it's short printed. Oh, I need to try and work my way around there. So, star cards, other ones of heaven, Xyz, Burning Abyss, Mirror Forces. That's a star card. Just generally good. It's these. Burning Abyss. 
Phantom Knights. Yeah. Ice Hand. I don't know what these do. I see. Right. They can go. Let's have a different one for them. So that was our first box. Uh, Rano's Flare Metal Dragon was a card I definitely wanted one of because we didn't manage to get that in Clash of Rebellions. And Naruto, that's one of the only cards in Number Hunter that I don't yet have. So, second box. I'm already very glad I bought this. Another Castell. Mask Change. That's one of the spell cards I really want. Look at how amazing that looks in foil. Just, I think spell cards are my favourite. Gold, rares. Um, I do not recognise that. Farfa, Mel Branch of the Burning Abyss. King's Consonants. And Time Space Trap Hole. That is very, very good indeed. I've already forgotten what my system was. Oh, must change. Star card. Next pack. I also apologise if you can hear the Facebook ding. Um, I don't actually know what device that is that's doing that. So Another Naruto. Spell Shattering Arrow. Which looks really nice, but it's a bit of a strange... I suppose it's a lot more useful now. It was released before Pendulums were a thing. But now they are, it's probably a bit more useful. That is Calcab, Melbranche of the Burning Abyss. Another Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield. And Deep Dark Trap Hole. Burning Abyss and General. So can we get a star card in this pack? Proper star card that's not must change. I mean, Majesta Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer, that's good. Blazing Mirror Force. Oh wow, I like it. Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Stardust Charge Warrior. And Cosmo Goodwitch. Of course, the Cosmos are all reprinted in this set. She's got a green lightsaber. So nice. There, I think we may already have all of the sort of. Mm, okay, not all. But Majesta Powers and Red Eyes Flare. They're all cards. And Naruto. They're all cards that I quite wanted as a. Just because I didn't get them before. And the Horns of Heaven. The Horns of Heaven look beautiful. What can we get this time? Dante! A hey. Number 61, Volcasaurus. Another card that looks good with the uh, sort of orange and yellow motif. Fairy Wind. Junkaribo. I love that card. <laughs> uh, star card. And Cosmo Dogfighter. I know oh, I put Goodwitch in there. So this pack marks our halfway point. And man, oh man. I will, there is every chance I'll get another box of these. Scum. Melbranche of the Burning Abyss. Arcanite Magician. That is another of the sort of less popular packs. Radiant Mirror Force. Which means I think we've got all three of the Mirror Forces. Uh, Angmal, the Fiendish Monarch. And then the Deep Dark Trap Hole. Uh, where are we going to put Angmar? Let's go with up there. And our Burning Abyss. So, last pack of this box. Max C. 
If you need to this turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster, immediately draw one card. Ha ha. Black Rose Dragon. It's had so many reprints. Oh, Dark Mirror Force, which I did not realise was in this set. Frost Blast of the Monarchs. And another Cosmo Good Witch. I really don't like these boxes, they you have to destroy them to get into them, there's no way of doing it without breaking them, which means I can't have it on display, which is definitely sad. So, Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss, Volcasaurus, Emergency Teleport, haha! <laughs> Ah, what are we doing? Emergency Teleport is amazing. Look, this as a spell card, it just looks good in gold rare. Stardust Charge Warrior. And another Grand Horn of Heaven. Can we get that Ghost Over and Snow Rabbit? Just a lot of cards, really. Terminus of the Burning Abyss. Constella Ptolemy M7. Also looked really good in gold. And 106, Giant Hand. Nice. Oh, I've been wanting this card for so long. It's just, it's just a really weird boss monster. But, oh yes. Uh, Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield has a playset of those. And another Ice Hand. So, ah uh, <laughs> uh, yes. It's been a good day. I mean, it's not really been a good day. It's been busy, but having come home to this and uh, another surprise, which has probably already been posted. But yeah, Traveller of the Burning Abyss, Evil Swarm Ouroboros. Reasoning? I don't know if I have one of these. It's in those the um, packs that I didn't get boxes of, so as a common, I, there's still a chance I didn't get it. Red Supremacy, and another Horn of Heaven. Uh, do we have another? No, we do not. Last box. I'm not sure we could really ask for much more out of this box, personally. But I'm never going to say no. Cosmo uh, Farm Girl would be nice, as a sort of mediocre and yet really amazing card to get. Let's see our oh, luck can hold out. Another emergency teleport. Traveller of the Burning Abyss. We've got about five of those. Evil Swarm Ouroboros. Number 35, Ravenous Tarantula. I've just noticed that's the first of the new numbers we've got. It's at level, a uh, rank 10. Another deep dark trap hole. I've not paid much attention to this whole sorting system thing. Every card is just too mesmerising. Another reasoning. Another terminus of the bird. We've got loads of these. Another Ptolemy M7. Shining Hope Road. Oh. And a black horn of heaven. That's all three of the horns ready. So, last pack. Let's hope we end with something stupendously good. Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. I could not have asked for more out of this box. Fantastic. Another da another Dante. Lightning Chidori. Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. And Cosmo Strawman. Crazy shiny. Excellent. So that's the box done. I will do a quick recap and then we'll have a look at the most expensive cards. And because it's the Gold Series and it's fantastic, I'll go through my personal favourites from this set. So I'll be back shortly. So first up we're going to do the price roundup. These are our top five. We don't have a um, surprising expensive card because they were all just... I'm surprised they're not all this expensive. So first one is, no surprises for guessing, number 106 Giant Hand, £17. Uh, next up, Archfiend Eccentric, £8. 
Then we're going to jump quite a way down to um, three pounds ninety five for Max C. At roughly the same price is Dante, Traveller of the Burning Abyss. And finally, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon at £2.40. So that is my price roundup. And we shall be back with my personal favourite cards from the set. So as we've not done this before, there's no like planned format. Uh, and these are going to be in no particular order. But Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon is a card that I didn't get in the booster box when I bought it. And Red Eyes, just in general, is an amazing archetype. I really like the just the eyes monsters, the Galaxy Eyes, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Odd Eyes archetypes. Um, mostly because they're all dragons. But this one in particular, in Gold Rare, is just really nice. Dante, because it's a Burning Abyss, it's... I mean, particularly now we've got, what, I think we've got four copies of each of the trap cards and three copies of the spell cards, so that's nice. And I just like, it's one of those cards that is too expensive to buy, and if you don't get in the box, then for a casual player, it's not right. Constella Ptolemy M7 was one of the only cards I didn't get in my Hidden Arsenal opening. And I just... I just like it as a boss monster, really. This is... Yeah. He's, he's cool. I do quite like how his name is really... Um, what's the word? Diversifying? Like, I don't think many people agree. Some people call it Ptolemy M7. Uh, in the anime, they say just they just sort of conjoin it as Ptolemy M7. Which is interesting. And I like that it's similar to the Satellanite one. Because they're semi-connected. Which is nice. Junk Karibo. It's just a really cool idea for a Karibo. And it being a junk card as well. It's just cool. Arcanite Magician. Is one of those cards which is... Or at least during the 5D era. It was really, really well played. And I've never had one. Uh, I'm not sure what set it's in. Whichever one it is, I haven't got one. I might end up getting one in the booster box. If it's in Crossroads of Chaos or Duelist Genesis, then I could I have a chance of getting it. But until then, that's good. Chimeritic Fortress Dragon is sadly not a card I've ever owned. Despite the fact it's one of the best Cyber Dragon cards there is. So, I do want to play more Cyber Dragons. Um, I'm also really, really like these. I think I have ultra rare copies of uh, these two, but I just think they're really nice reprints. They are being shiny with the whole green is really cool, and I like the fact that we got one of each. So no surprises. The next one is my Mirror Force set. We got one of each of the mirror forces besides mirror force. Storming, radiant. Radiant's not very good, but it looks nice. And blazing. Blazing, I think, is possibly the best one. Blazing or storming. What does dark mirror force even do? Oh, banish your defense position monsters. I remember. So yeah, we got a set of those as well, which is nice. I'm very completionist like that. I'd rather get a full set of one of a not very good card than get. And this is where our surprise is going to be, because, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the cards we've listed before are boss monsters. This, I just think, looks amazing. And if I opened a box and it was all this, I would just put them all over my room. So on that slightly strange note, I'm going to sign off. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we're going to get another box of this. But if not, the next opening will be some 5D stuff, I hope. Well, I will catch you all later.